Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So this is the 3rd of November on Wednesday. So uh, I hope we're having a great day today. I have recovered from the illness finally. So I feel much, much better now. Thank you for your comments and also emails and words for, uh, for my health condition. Now I'm fully recovered, so it's, uh, it's all good so far. So uh, yeah, so today looks like markets are retracing, ranging everywhere, and I don't see any trends. Looks like gold is bearish, but overall in the daily chart is still flat range to me. So instead of talking about the markets or strategies, I think it's a perfect timing to talk about some psychological part. So today's topic is about how to become confident on your own system. And I will talk about it based on my experience. So let me please my window and start the session now. So before starting, as a quick disclaimer, this information today is basically based on my own understanding and knowledge and experience. So when you make a trade decisions, please do add your own risks. And also, since this is a video session, uh, please, if you can follow the rules and guidelines on my YouTube channel, that will be great. So um, yeah, speaking of the confident on your trace. One of the questions I also always keep in mind is how many trades did you execute on your system? Because sometimes, you know, I get the emails and comments says, um, you know, I'm, I'm still not confident yet. I learned so much about the Forex. I learned so much about Ichimoku or uh, even KTS, my own strategy called KTS. Um, I learned so much from your videos, but I'm not confident yet. And so my question is, how many trades did you take? If you only took 10 trades, then there's no way you'd be confident. So my recommendation is to test your own system, your own strategy at least 100 times. You can do so in Forex Tester, you can do so in the real moving market. Uh, but however you do, you have to trade at least 100 times and see the result overall. And if you're not confident yet, then that means you need to work on something. Maybe uh, it will be your entry timings or exit timings, your uh, lot sizing, stop loss. Um, we'll see. I have to see the result on the performance. But uh, if you are still not taking 100 trades yet, then there's no way that you will be confident. So, and uh, I was actually speaking to one of the GTS members right now. And uh, just earlier, I was talking about uh, the confidence and also the importance of backtesting. Because um, if I were not backtesting my strategies and if I were not trading, if I were not running the Forex tester and, uh, you know, um, take 100 trades, 200 trades, or even 500 trades with my strategy, I will never be confident on my strategy. So the step-by-step -step process is important. So first, you find a system, whether it's a KTS or some other systems, if you find it, then uh, you try, you test it 100 times in the, pre in the previous charts. So let's say you, if you want to take gold cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, for example, then you want to try 100 times with this strategy and see the stats. And if it's profitable, then you can practice it in a real movie market. But if you lose with this system, then that means you need to work on something. And that the areas you need to work on can be revealed by these stats. The uh, Chinsikide wins, consumer losses, 
or a profit factor might be very small or a drawdown might be very high. So uh, you need to really look into the stats and see the area of improvement. So this is also what I tell to the GCS members is that the, um, when you backtest and when you do 100 tries, 100 practice tries by running Forex Tester or whatever, you have to have at least profit factor of three. Ideally, you want to have profit factor of five with my own strategy in the previous chart by backtesting so that in the, in the current moving market, in the real market, you will have maybe three or two profit factor, ideally speaking. So, or practically, practically speaking, like that. A backtest uh, performance will, should be much, much better than real trades because simply you can move bars by your own and you, only, you can only pinpoint uh, the trending market and the only spot the trending market every time and take trades. So you will have, of course, more chance to test my own strategy than real market. But in a real market, you can't you know, take trades every time you see the trending directions. Sometimes you're busy, you miss these chances. Sometimes you don't feel good and you might miss these chances too. So um, you can't trade always when you see trending markets on the real moving market. And that's why the performance uh, is lower, is worse than the backtesting. So, so that's why backtesting performance should be much, much higher than the real trades. And you have to see that by 100 trades at least. So, um, and also the reason why I recommend to do 100 trades is that after you do it, then you will have the idea of what works and what doesn't work. So for example, if you take trades every time you see confirmations, for example, uh, if you have like uh, if you let's say if you take uh, gold cross scarcities or dead cross scarcities, every time you take trades, you use this confirmation and you take trades, and after 100 trades of this system, then you will have the idea of when this dead cross can be fake or this when this gold cross can be fake, and. It comes from your experience. Um, I can of course talk about when most likely it gives you fake signals of the stochastics. For example, there is if there's a previous resistance level nearby on the daily chart, then if you, even if you see gold cross on stochastics, it might be fake. The market might be resisted, rejected, and retrace backwards. So, you know, these kind of things. Or if you see like a double top and gold cross, it might be fake gold cross too. But uh, if you are really looking for the opportunity on the real market, then you might miss this information. You might forget to draw the lines, you might miss the double top, and simply by looking at the gold cross, you just capture it and you might buy. Well, um, based on my uh, based on my strategy, you have to look for at least three confirmations. So gold cross plus something else. You look for two, two more confirmations. But uh, even so, you might forget about double top formation. You might forget about drawing lines, and uh, you you get stopped out. For example. So, but uh, if you only do back testing, maybe ten times or so then you might not gonna be able to capture this yet. But uh, let's say if, the hand, if only 10 trades of backtest result is good, then uh, people tend to practice it on the real market and people tend to lose because uh, it's not enough stats. So 100 trades, 100 trades of stats is just basic and you have to, ideally you wanna increase more, more uh, samples like 200 or 300 or even 500 
you want to trade. So when I personally back this, so like like today, when the market is ranging, if there is no opportunities in the market, then simply that's when I launch a Flex a five and simply run the tester and I practice my own so that I don't lose my sense of trade and also um, I notice something new in my system and I write down and I fine tune my own strategy. For example, I fine tune my exit timing or I fine tune my stop loss move, stop loss uh, management skills. So, uh, because sometimes when I run the tester, I see similar market as of today on the previous chart. So, when I see that, I take a memo and also um, put it into price, put it into practice in the real market like that. So, uh, so yeah, the uh, experience is a key and practice is a key to success. So whatever systems, whatever strategies you're using, I recommend you to at least take 100 trade samples and see the result and see if it's good or bad. If it's bad, then of course you have to fine tune, you have to see the area of improvement and take another 100 samples. But, uh, you know, um, usually it's, it's not really, you know, it's not really, um, it's not really normal to do backtesting before you practice in a real market. Uh, but uh, because uh, before I was like that, before, I, when, I, when I first learned the Forex and when I first learned the strategy with moving average, and uh, I think it was uh, moving average plus pivot points and the candlestick patterns. I was using this kind of strategy when I was a newbie and uh, I was only practicing on the real market. Sometimes I see chance, sometimes I don't see the chance. And when I don't see the chance, I tend to look for the chance to come. And I tend to look for a chance in different markets or different time frames and I tend to trade like that because I wanted to make profits and I wanted, I didn't know the importance of waiting at that time. And uh, sometimes you win, sometimes I lose, but uh, I didn't really know the reason why I lost it and because I was only focusing on the winning trades. So, but uh, after a while, after I blow up again my, my account, then uh, I realized the importance of backtest and the importance of experience. And that's when I bought the Forex tester for the first time and I run the tester and really practice my own. So I wasn't really looking at the chart at that time. I keep practicing, practicing it until I be confident. And after I become confident, then I practice it also in the real market by the demo account. Then if I see the stats to be great for the three months of the demo account trades, then I, I prepared another $10,000 account. Then start to practice on the real money. And then after that, afterwards, the performance gets stabilized and I, can, I, was, I have been able to uh, do trades afterwards. I never lose afterwards. So uh, I think the key is to to uh, to take time to backtest and also to practice by your own. Um, I think one trade is much much better than watching videos hundred times. So please practice. Please watch charts previous charts and take at least 100 trades and see the stats. And one more thing that is good is that once you get used to the back testing by using Forex Tester for myself, um, if I if you ask me to do 100 trades uh, in the Forex Tester right now, it only takes like two hours or one, one and a half hour it only takes. 
to, to practice 100 tries. So because I'm so used to my own system and I exit trade, exit trade very, very quickly. With, uh, with no emotion, I do it systematically. So that's why um, I can do a quick backtesting like this. And I think that's another good thing about backtesting so that when you really see the chance on the real movie market, then you can just capture it. And when you really see the moment of exit timing, you can just execute the exit timing as soon as possible. There's no second thought about that. Once you get used to the practice and backtesting. So yeah, so that's my recommendation. So I thought it's a nice topic to talk about uh, because markets are quiet. So hopefully we capture uh, some nice tips this week. But, but this week we have big news, big events. So uh, yeah, so once again, if you're not confident, then never trade. You only trade when you're confident. And if you feel you're never confident, then practice and backtest is my suggestion. Right, so thank you for watching until the end. If you liked it, please press the like button and I will see you in the next video or live session. So, take all everyone. Bye for now. Matane. Thank you.